joke about this. Uh-huh. A woman was walking along the pavement and suddenly she had a stop. So authoritative, she stopped. And the next moment, a huge rock fell in front of her, the building under repair. Mm. If she had stepped, she would have been dead. Right. She was impressed. Then she went a little further, to the end of the pavement. She had to cross a road. She waited for instructions on the traffic light. He said, walk. So she was about to step, when again the voice said, stop. And the drunk driver came. So if she had stepped, she although he said, walk, she would have been dead. Now she was really impressed. So she said, who are you? And the voice said, I'm your guardian angel. So this young lady said, oh, you're my guardian angel, are you? What the hell were you doing when I got married? (laughs) 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 I'll tell you you another joke about this. The uh, king had a dream. He had a dream. All his teeth had fallen off. So he sent for the court, court astrologer. And he said, what does that mean? And he said, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but it's a very bad indication. It means all your relatives will die. Will die before you. So he put him in prison, sent for another one. The other one who knew what had happened, this is a wonderful woman. You will outlive all your relatives. (laughs) (laughs) You say, none of my action is in my control. I have, I feel, an irresistible wish to come there, for example, and start playing in a nice way. eh? and to start kissing you, and start playing, and or, making jokes. Where? Or slapping me. No, 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 no. <laughs> it happened. Okay, okay, it might happen. But, but I say angers you so much, you come and slap me, that could also happen. Yes, but this okay, is, wait, this wait, was... Wait. Yes, so if this happens, <laughs> if this happens, yeah, then this society no, will okay. reward you, <laughs> or punish you. Yeah, okay, I don't do it. You said your name was? Satyendra. Satyendra. Whatever the ultimate Interesting name. <laughs> Interesting name. <laughs> uh, it was just parents chose it. <laughs> I put it to Right. And uh, parents which I did not choose. Uh, chose, <laughs> chose, chose the name. From in Bangalore? You are, you are from Bangalore? No, I am from Mangalore. Mangalore, I say. And, and uh, you went to meet some people in Mangalore? No, in Bangalore. Bangalore. <laughs> Bangalore. Bangalore. I see, I see. Art of living? Oh, 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 I see, I see. I see, art, art of living, yes. Sri, 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 Sri. Sri, Sri. Sri, Sri, Sri. Sri, Sri, Sri. I don't speak because some Sri, Sri tells me and some Sri 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 stole that Sri Sri and Sri 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 ten times stole someone Sri Sri eight yes, times. Yes, yes, And the lineage. You know the difference between your attitude towards a person. So that the person is with you comfortable and you are comfortable. Komal, Sonal, Nomal. Rupal. Rupal. <laughs> Rupal. For one simple reason. That is the point, most simple. You see, the work for uh, Rona, only two things. What is Rona? Rona? Rupa. Rupa. <laughs> Rupa, yes, I remember Rupa. <laughs> A, a Zen seeker went to a Zen master. 
he said, full of concepts. And he said, I want enlightenment. So the Zen master started talking about enlightenment. And before he could say two sentences, this man was talking for ten minutes <laughs> about his own concepts. So the Zen master said, this won't do. You will have to go to my monastery, spend two years there. Are you prepared to do it? He said, yes, yes, I'm prepared to do it. I am I'm bent on being enlightened. So he went to the monastery for two years. At the end of two years he came back. So he said, what do you have to tell me? Only two words. So he thought about it and he said, food bad. So he sent him back again. Two years he comes back again and he says two words. He says, bed hard. He sends him back again. Two years later he comes back again and he says two words, I quit. Now, Mr. Gadatamara's anger, I'll tell you what happened once. You know, in, in his biological gene, there was a short fuse. Anger would arise very quickly. So once what, I, what happened, I was doing the translation. Yeah. And he, <laughs> he used to move about quite a lot. So once he said something, I couldn't quite hear it. So I said, Maharaj, can you please repeat it? Anger arose. She said, what's the matter, Balsekar? Are you getting short of hearing? Anger arose. So I said, yes, Maharaj, I'm getting old. My eyesight is not what it was. My hearing is bad. My teeth are all gone. Oh, no, at that time, one or two teeth have gone. <laughs> and he started laughing. See what I mean? One moment, anger. Next moment, he was, he was his laughter about the loudest. Mm. You know why? Because I was twenty years younger than him. <laughs> and I did have some teeth then. And he had none. <laughs> so that is what happened. Supposing he had got involved, then what happened? Then he would have said, Balsheka made me angry. I am not going to laugh at his humor. So even if he felt like laughing, he would have restrained him. <laughs> no, one moment anger, next moment, huge amusement. I thought maybe... So, how can we get out of this imprisonment? There is no, no, no. There is no impediment. It is... I am saying your name is... Rasika. Rasika. Radhika? Ra Rathika. Rasika. Rasika. Yes. Okay. Rasika. You, are you from Bombay? I'm from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yes. You are here on a holiday? Uh, I've been here in Pune for last uh, 12 years actually. Oh, I see. Do you do something in Pune? Yeah. Okay. I'm Be. studying and I'm going to the ashram, Osho Ashram. I'm sorry? I'm studying also. Could you speak a little louder? It doesn't reach the two points. I'm studying. Yeah, I see. And I'm going to the Osho Ashram. Oh, I see, I see. I, you know, I'll tell you a joke about this. <laughs> <laughs> the joke is, a young lady came to her parents with a young man and introduced him as his, as her, her uh, fiancé. So he was a nice looking man, very, very acceptable. So both the parents were happy. They had dinner. After the dinner, the mother told the father, look, you take him to your study, find out more about him. So the father took him there. And he said, what do you do in life? He said, I'm a student of divinity and comparative religion. <laughs> so he said, when you do get married, how will you earn your money for your daily living? He said, God will provide. 
But when the children come and you have more responsibility, what will happen? God will provide. So the father asked two or three more questions. Each time he said, God will provide. So at the end of it he went away. The mother asked, what did the boy, how did you find the boy? What did the boy say? So he said, the boy said, he is a student of divinity and he thinks I am God. <laughs> <laughs> I was just... I mean, why, what made you go into... TM? Was into I just had a... I wanted to know what life was all about. You know, I'll tell you a joke about TM. Okay. My daughter, she went into this some time ago. And my wife and I happened to be in, in Bangalore. So she was doing her, her transcendental meditation. So she told her young boy, young son, I don't know, maybe seven years old, I'm not sure. He said, look, I'm doing transcendental meditation. Therefore, for 20 minutes, you must sit outside and make sure that nobody comes in, nobody disturbs me. He felt very important. He said, he sat out there. So my, <laughs> my wife, we were going to, he said, no, you can't go in. Mm. Mummy is doing PM. Mm. Mm. So he asked his grandmother, my wife, her mother, you know what PM is? So my, my wife said, no, I don't. He said, PM means 20 minutes. <laughs> You see what I mean? Perspective. <laughs> Perspective. <laughs> he didn't know what to do. <laughs> he can handle you, you hadn't read that book? The you book, it was not the words in the book that was so important as the connection that the book gave me to you. And I haven't come here so much as to receive but to offer myself. Because it is in giving to you that everything will be received by me automatically. I see, yes. But what you can give to me, my wife won't like. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of pictures of gods, gurus and yantras. But sometimes they get very faded. You talk of pictures, that's correct. Pictures. No, this is another query. So, pictures are pictures. No, but when they get faded and old... And they'll go faded and they'll be... They, they, Can they'll we put it in... Is it essential to put it in water or... You know, we get so worried. How do you deal with them? See, if it's an ordinary paper, one can just tear it and put it in a dustbin. Yes. But what does one do when the picture of a god is very faded? Oh, you know what the traditional answer is? Put them in the sea. Yeah, but you know... Put them in the sea. But that's traditional. And then the water is only... Sometimes in high tide it goes away. But again it washes back and comes on the shore. People is that your problem? Walking. Or is it the problem no, of the sea? You, you could but either. Other, other than the sea, what does one do? Something you can put it in your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. don't like to put such a sacred thing in the toilet. You put it in the sea. The point is, either way, it doesn't matter a damn. Oh, you've relieved me so much. You've taken a load of me. What does one do? It doesn't matter a damn. A picture is a picture. Since last eight years, since this spiritual enquiry began, I've collected many books. So what should I do, do with those books? <laughs> I want to draw them. After reading them. <laughs> <laughs> I have read all of them, but only thing I have collected from this is lot of knowledge, but no, lot, no, 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 no,
you have collected a lot of concepts. Yeah, concepts. You have collected not a lot of knowledge. You know what? Yeah. You know, when my wife and I decided to get married, our horoscopes were as usual. And the astrologer said, I've rarely come across any two horoscopes which match so well. And do you know how well they match? If I forget the name somebody and I say, what's his name? She also forgets. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, why did you make me? <laughs> when I go to Rome, here and there, I tell her, did you, who, tell, who told you to make me? Eh, hey, Bruno, you want always to play? No, I'm not playing, Mama. I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm hurting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the mama will probably say, why do you think I wanted you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you either. <laughs> why did you come? <laughs> if she would have come to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like to hear a joke from me? Yes. <laughs> Which, frankly, I think is the best joke I have ever heard. <laughs> no setup on that one. There was one fellow who used to got into the habit, habit as you say. Whatever he was told, something happened, this happened, that happened. It was almost a habit with him to say, could have been worse, could have been worse. And his close friends were tired of it. One day a friend told them, You know Bob, what happened? Yesterday, Tom came home early, found his wife in bed with, with, with Percy. And Tom shot them both and went to the, to the police station and confessed it. So, so this man, could have been worse. <laughs> so this time he was really angry. Look, I have accepted you. Tell me, in this, how could it have been worse? One friend in hospital, another friend's wife, and another friend dead. And you said it could have been worse? He said, yes, this happened yesterday. If it had happened day before, I would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> I have done nothing. Everything will happen. So if God asks you, why did you do that? What's the answer? I didn't, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll say, well, <laughs> <laughs> I read a joke the other day. <laughs> Murti, me basuna, did a clipping up. Anyway, I'll tell you the joke. The joke is one man, I went to the bar, had a couple of drinks too many, and he, he, and he said, you know, the president, George Bush, is a, is a horse's ass. <laughs> his, his popularity is now down to 33 percent or something. <laughs> so when you say this... <laughs> I was agreeing with the horse's ass. Part. <laughs> you, you, have, you haven't... No, no, I tried. So he shouts, George Bush is a horse's ass. And then a huge man, six feet, four inches, comes and stands before him. Would you dare to repeat it in front of me? So he's cut. 
I didn't realize this is bush country. <laughs> so this by some name it is, it is horse country. No. <laughs> 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 you are insulting all but the bush. Is that it? Should be doing this. Your father should be doing that. He should get to do this. But my dad's like, you know, a, you know, a joke. I sometimes tell. Excuse me. Do you know a joke? I sometimes yeah, tell. But at the end of the world, there is Saint Peter. <laughs> Everybody was there. So St. Peter said, I want two lines to be formed. One for handpicked husband. <laughs> and the other one was not handpicked. <laughs> so in the ones not handpicked, there was only one man. <laughs> you see? So St. Peter asked him, Are you sure you want to stand in that said, Oh, I'm very sure. My wife told me to stand. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something, you know, you often had the same discussion with Guruji many, many, many times. And it always comes to the same impasse where you, you know, you get, where there is something that, it's something is, you know, not accepting or there's something that you differ in your point. The question is very simple. What do you lose? Or what do you think you lose if, God forbid, you actually are the ego? Actually? If you actually are the ego, what would you lose? Or what do you think you would lose? What would you have to give up if, God forbid, in your the way you think, that you actually turn out to be just the ego? And not How the can I accept one which does not exist? Existence is only existence. It is, can't be defined. No, no, that's different. Existence is existence, we know that. We're talking about you right now. And in Where is the you? The one who's screaming at you. Sure. The one who is screaming. There is only screaming. There is no you screaming. But no, the one who's feeling sad, the one who's grimacing, the one who's feeling where, the energy where, churning up. Where is the subject? He, here, here. Where is the subject? Right here in the right chair. Here. Huh? Right here in the chair. In the appearance. And the object in the chair. In the appearance. No, no, don't shift now. Don't shift into in the appearance. appearance. Then, then you can say there was no appearance. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Let's just talk. So you can't talk, talk about this. Why are you running? Off? You can't talk about this. Okay, we won't. You can't talk about this. Am I sir right? No, <laughs> you can't talk about. This. Yes, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are right. Ego. You are right. Ego. You know, when there was a thing happened. When I was in, uh, and later on, I told uh, that it was a, it's an old story, but it actually happened in my case. When I was in Ahmedabad, as the man, then manager of the Ahmedabad branch, one man came in the morning, or Sunday morning, you know, and complained. My wife does this, my wife does that, my wife, she doesn't listen to me, she doesn't this, 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 that, and the other. So, this is what I've been doing, this is what I'm So at the end of it, he said, do you think I'm right? I said, you're right. Then she went away and the, uh, half an hour later, the wife came. <laughs> and she said, this is my husband, does. this is he's such a bad man. He does this, this, that, and <laughs> And this is what I've been doing. Do you think I'm right? I said, you're right. My, my wife in the kitchen was listening to this. So she comes up. He says, what nonsense is this? How can you tell him he's right and also tell her he's right? I said, you are right. Actually, <laughs> 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 I said, and then she said, I'm sorry, I didn't. I, w I don't know what I'll do yeah. when the opportunity is not there anymore to come and sit with you in person. So I'm enjoying it at the moment. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what. You enjoy a piece of music. Yes. You have been, before going to bed, you have been putting the CD on for months. Then something happened. The CD is broken. You can't get another CD. <laughs> what will you do?
Tell me, I'll be done the music. <laughs> but the advantage... I you know the difference is I don't see you as a CD. Yes, but the, uh, the, uh, the, there is a difference, and difference is you can have one of these DVDs. <laughs> okay? Okay, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. You have the DVD on. And it's like, honestly, it's like being there again. Yeah. It's being there.